I'm hanging out with Monique Luck, one of the finale artists of the Art Pop Lounge. How long have you been doing art? I tell everyone since I was five years old, so I've been doing it like my whole life. Yeah, totally. Not at this level, obviously, but just a step below. How did you create? Your art is amazing. Thank you. The mixed medium that you use is phenomenal. Thank you. How did that come to be? So it's a really funny story. Um, I was teaching a community workshop for kids, and I loved it. We had, had so much fun, and I had been painting murals, and I was so tired of painting outside on the wall, and I was like, you know what? I need a break. Let me just do a collage. So I started doing collage, and I loved it. So I, I tell everyone, like, I fall in love with collage, or I fell in love with collage, and now I just, I can't get enough of it. So. It's, it's beautiful. I think what's great about your artwork is from afar, it looks like you painted it. Right. But then you go up close, right. and you see there, there's more to it. Yeah. Where do you get inspiration for the actual visuals that your photos end up being? So every piece has a story behind it. So a lot of it has to do with people I've, I've met in my life, or family, or experiences I've gone through. And I try to incorporate that into the artwork. And so you'll see like little hidden messages, you know, when you get close to it, the words and things I put in there. So I saw in one of them the exploration and things like that. And yeah. it looks like a journey. Where do you find these pieces at? Are you going through magazines? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, honestly, it can be anything. So a lot of times I will look, look at poetry and I incorporate some words there. You know, I might write the words myself and put them in there. Um, sometimes I find it in magazines. It just, it really, anywhere. Anywhere that's like pops out and is inspiring to me, so. This looks like it is not a short process. How long do your pieces of art take? That's a great, that's like my number one question. I, everyone asks me that and I wish I could say I knew, but I always say that the idea starts in my head and it, it could take two years, it could take six months, it could take, it just depends. But the actual physical sitting down working, uh, it could take maybe two or three months. Is this your first time being involved with Charlotte Show? This is actually. I was super honored that uh, Art Pop asked me to join them and I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, so. How has your interaction with people been so far? Okay, so I had the best experience. This sweet little girl came and brought her money, counted it out, and bought one of my cards, and like that made my day. Like, I don't need to sell anything. I just, she, she made my day, yeah. Isn't that the best? I know, so that's why I love it, like being able to talk to people like that. How do you feel Art Pop Lounge is exposing you to maybe people who never knew about your art or never really took an interest in art like yours? I think just having these one-on-one -on -one conversations with people, like they were like, what is this? And then I, so I get to explain it to them. They're really interested in it and they'll take my card. And so, I don't know, I'm excited to see who else I'm gonna meet. So when someone buys your art and it goes up on their wall, what is that feeling like? What does that do for you as an artist? It's it's really an honor actually that someone would want, like to buy my artwork and put it on their wall. Like it's because it, they're all my my little babies, and so when I see them like take that, it just I don't know. It just it's an honor. Is there ever a piece that you've been so like attached to that it's hard to let go? Oh my gosh, yeah. I always cry. Like I know it sounds crazy, but I literally cry when they leave. And there's one I just I sold last year, and um, she she like was persistent because I was like I'm not ready to sell this. She was so persistent, and I was like okay. And one artist told me once a long time ago is to never be afraid to let your art go and just have enough faith in yourself that you can create something else. And that's been like the biggest piece of advice I've ever had because literally like they're your they're like your little babies, so you don't want to let them go. Uh, what do you have a favorite piece here on display? Um, today, let's see. I think I like this one today. Okay. It's just, it's the energy is there, and it's called somehow I had a notion, a notion, and it's just it's a spirit of like joy. So I think. For for today, this one's my favorite. Now we've talked a little bit about how you create, you know, how you get inspiration from people you meet in your life. How do you name them? Okay, so that's a great story too. So that one is named after one of my grandfather's poems, and so a lot of times I get inspired by poetry. And um, so that is actually my niece, and that's the um, name from one of his poems. Yeah. So. Family of artists. Yes. What hours are you here this weekend? So um, I'm going to be here from 11 to 7 every day. The whole weekend? So yes. you can't miss her. Uh, if people wanted to catch up with you or see your art, maybe they're not able to make it right. out this weekend, how would they do that? On Instagram, at Monique Lark. Monique Luck Art. Yeah. Monique Luck Art. Simple as that. Monique, thank you so much thank for you. being part of Charlotte Shout. Thank you. We'll toss it back to you guys.